in this session we will discuss different types of block in SPL SQL. What is a block in PL SQL and how we can create a block in PL SQL? In general, in programming language, we can create a block. We can create a block by using curly braces. It means open curly braces and close curly braces. This is a block. But this block is known as anonymous block. Why? Because we don't know <laughs> name of this block. I have created a block, but I don't doesn't know name of that block. If you are not providing any name to the block, such type block is known as anonymous block. But if you are giving name, suppose I have giving name wide f1. This is also known as method, but a method is nothing. Method is a named block. Method is a named block. So this can be done in programming language. In general, every programming language. But how we can do, how we can perform these things in a SQL. So SQL actually structure query language. But in PL SQL stands for procedure language standard query language. So we can perform procedural. It means we can create here function, we can create here block, we can create a variable, we can store the value, we can perform calculation. So it is a significant member of Oracle programming lang programming tool set which is extensively used to code server side programming similar to SQL language PL SQL is also case insensitive programming language. SQL is also case insensitive and PL SQL is also case insensitive. So PL SQL is also case insensitive programming language block. Actually, what is a block? Generally, a program written in a PL SQL language divided into blocks. So, in a programming language, generally, if you want to write on a logic, you can write the logic inside a method. This means block. Method is nothing, is a named block. So, within a named block, you can write the logic. So, whenever you require to logic, so you can create number of named the block and you can write the light right you can write the logic within a named block so in the similarly generally a programming program written in a pl sql language is divided into block so we can say block or basic programming unit in a pl sql programming language actually what block contains we can say actually what method contains method contains set of lines of code that can be performed by this block a specific line of code that can be executed by this method and the same way we can say PL SQL block contains set of instruction for Oracle to execute and display information to the screen so what a PL SQL block contains? <laughs> PL SQL blocks contain set of instruction for Oracle to execute display information to the screen. Write data to file, call other program, manipulate data anymore. Whatever you can do, you can do inside a block. So does block support DDL statement? Now try to understand before it if you want to suppose if you want to fetch a record you have to require the write the query select star from what is the table name suppose emp table so this is a command sql command this command is used to fetching the data from the table 
so this command is used to fetching the data from a table but when you write this command it means you can write directly but sometimes you want to insert a record you require to insert query you have to require to insert query insert update delete can you write this query under a block it means does block support ddl statement yes pl sql block support all dml statement and using native dynamic language so they can run ddl statement using building build the dms underscore sql package so we can write all ddl or dml statement also under block 